Creating drum patterns in Ultra Beats is probably one of the easiest and quickest ways to get your ideas down in Logic Pro. If you're new to Logic Pro and you don't know how to use Ultra Beat, don't know how to put drum samples in, how to create drum patterns, then this is the video for you. I'm also gonna show you how you can route your individual sounds to your mixer so you can process them in whatever way you want. Reverbs, delays, whatever it is, I'm gonna show you how to do that. First of all, we need to create a software instrument. We're looking for Ultra Beat. Now, when you choose Ultra Beat, you wanna choose Multi Output. When you choose Multi Output, you're gonna have the option to create different channels for each individual sound. So when we open up Ultra Beat, it's got some sounds in there already, but there's nowhere for you to load your samples. So that's just some, some regular sounds. No disrespect to Logic or nothing, but them sounds, if you use them sounds in your beats, I don't think they're gonna sound very professional. And I mean, it's okay when you're just starting out, but to take it to the next level, you need some proper sounds. So now we need to load some samples. Before you could just click this gray area, and it will give an option to load in drum kits from Logic Pro. But for some reason, that's not there now. So what we can do is if you press Y on your keypad, the library is going to come up and you just type in Ultra Beat and it's going to bring up empty Ultra Beat. Double click on that and now Ultra Beat is empty. So now you have a section where you can load your samples. These are all turned down for some strange reason, but we can just turn them up by pressing Alt and click. And these are your volumes for the samples that we're about to load in. Now we just need to load our samples. You can do that by clicking on the drop down arrow or where it says no sample loaded. You can go to load sample and find your samples that way. Or you can go to the right of Logic, click onto your browser tab and then go to all files and search for your drum samples that way. What I like to do is just to simply drag and drop my samples straight in with no problems. So I find the simplest way to set this up is by having your samples in order of importance. So that would be kick, snare, clap, hi-hats, open hats, uh, percussion, and so on. I just find it easier to do it this way, especially when I'm rooting these sounds to the mixer. You can do it whatever way suits you, but this is the way I find works for me. Just gonna name each section and just drag and drop our sample in, and it's done. So just for tutorial purposes, I'm just gonna keep it short and sweet kick, snare, let's just say kind of snare. This is going to be a drill preset which I'm going to save. So anytime I need some sounds quick, I can just go to my presets that I've saved and I'll show you how to save that in a second. Let's get a kind of snare. Yeah, that do. that's lovely. And then this one we want to make, let's just make it a hi-hat. And yeah, let's get an open hat and then let's get some perks, some percussion. I like that crash. Get a crash in there. A longer crash. And then let's get some perks. That sounds good. I like that. I like those two sounds. So we get the rim and then we're gonna get the, let's say the, it sounds like a gram perk for me and we're going to drop that in there as well yeah i like that great sound okay so now we want to save it so we always do simply go to the top section of ultra beat and then save as and then we're going to call this one drill drill drums 2024 and now that's saved so anytime you open up ultra beat and you need some sounds instantly you just go to your top left ultra beat and look for your drums that you just saved or saved from before now we're good so the next thing we want to do is route all these different sounds to your mixer and that's quite easy to do so open up your mixer by pressing x and that will open up your mixer for some strange reason ultra beat has decided to open make it a stereo file so we need to change that and make that multi output click on multi output once that's done you're going to notice there's a plus and a minus option at the bottom of your channel so we, we need to create one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different channels so we can route each sound. Actually, nine more channels because the kick will be the main. So just click it nine times. Actually, we need one more. So we can quickly name them. I usually like to have this in red as well. So I'm going to change that to red. So let's just name the channels so we don't get confused by everything that's going on. Double click in the bottom area, type in kick. Press tab on your keypad and it will jump to the next channel. I 
And to delete or add, you just simply press the plus or the minus. Simple as that. So now we need to route these different sounds from Ultra Beat onto the mixer. If you notice, it's already created some numbers at the top that we can route the sounds to. At the moment, these are all stereo sounds, stereo channels. So if you click on it, go down to inst one, inst one, <laughs> go down to the bottom, you see there's options of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up until 24. Three and four to 15, 16 are stereo. 17 to 24 is mono. Using percussive sounds, so most of the time they're gonna be mono. So we can change these, 17, 18, and so on. Now you can keep them as stereo if you want to, doesn't matter. So now we're ready to take the sounds and put them to the mixer, route them up to the mixer. So our snare is gonna be 17, so you just click on subgroup and then click subgroup nine, which is 17. And then we're gonna to go to counter snare. So we're just gonna to continue to do that all the way through. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, so we've run out of subgroups, so I'm going to put that on the, the last one, the grand perk, onto three and four, and it really doesn't matter at all that it's stereo. So we're just going to call this one three and four. Now, all your sounds are rooted to the mixer, but if you notice, if you try and click on the sounds, you're not going to hear anything. And the reason is simple. It just isn't turned on. So you just need to turn on all your different sounds. And it, yeah. So once this is done and it's saved, you're good. You ain't got to worry about that again. And we're just going to save that. Save as, replace. And now we're good to go. So if I open up a drum pattern, that's completely different. And then go back to our drill drums that we just created. Rim, there's no rim there. Got to add the rim. Important. We've got our drum sounds and they're all rooted. Now we need to create a drum pattern. There's a few ways that you can do this. I'll show you the easiest way first, which I always like to use, and that's just using this grid area here just to place notes, which is which I find a lot quicker and easier to get my patterns down. So we're just gonna create a quick drum, drill drum pattern at 140 BPM. And we can turn Ultra Beat on just by pressing the power button. Make sure we've got that looped, four bars. And that sounds a bit robotic, so we can use the swing knob down the bottom and it will just give it a bit of swing. And they can also change the velocities. And that's our hi-hat pattern. Add some snares in. You can turn the volume down from this right in ultra beat by just moving the volume fader, or we can turn it down in the mixer. And if you notice, it's, it's a bit hot, so we can turn it down here so the fader isn't getting too much signal from Ultra Beat. And that's called gain staging. I've got a whole video on that if you, if you want to watch that. It's good to know. And if you want to, you can change the key that the sample's in. So that kit doesn't sound too nice to me. So we can change the key of that. So yeah, if you want to change the key of the kick, just go to pitch. Hmm, that's a vibe, I like that. So the other way to create a jump pattern, you can just grab your pencil tool and then create a region and just place your notes in wherever you want. It's actually a nice pattern. And we could just drag that out to make it a four bar loop. Mm. 
highlight all the notes, press Command and R, and we just duplicate those notes. Get a nice little, hmm, maybe not now. Get a rim in there, turn that rim down. No, not that one. So that's another way you can create a, a drum pattern using Ultra Beat. The drum pattern that you've created inside Ultra Beat, you can now just drag the pattern and drop it straight onto the edit window. That's going to be your two bar loop and then you're going to duplicate that and make that into one region, four bars. And we just highlight both, press J, now you've got a four bar loop, press play. You need to make sure that Ultra Beat isn't on when you drop your drum pattern onto the edit window, otherwise you're going to duplicate the sound. So if you mute the MIDI region, it's still going to play and we, we don't want that. So you need to make sure that Ultra Beat is turned off. So now you know how to create drum patterns in Ultra Beat and also how to root your different drum samples. If you've vibed to this video at all, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. See you in the next one.